Welcome everyone, back once again to more Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we took down Katie, the Bug Type Gym Leader, Tulip, the Psychic Type Gym Leader, and then we took down the Sky High Titan. This time around, it's going to be the next three, so first and foremost, we're going to be going against the Quaking Earth Titan. Then we're going to be taking down Giosomo, the Dark Type, uh, the Dark Type boss for Team Star, and then we're going to take on Kofu of the Kaskarafa Gym, Water Type. So let's go ahead and set the destination real quick for the Titan. Ah! There we go. It's that direction. Uh, let me double check the thing again. Okay, okay. So I think down this way, and I should be fine. I do want to say, uh, real quick, I did change one person in my team beforehand. Let me just get rid of my webcam so y'all can see my team real quick. So, now Quackaval is level 60. My Dragonair has finally evolved into Dragonite, level 58. Gallade is 57, I still got Ditto. I... So, Claude Sire is in my team once again, but this is a different Claude Sire from before. Because... First off, my Claude Sire beforehand from the earlier parts, that was obviously Poison Ground with the Terrestrialized being Ground type. This one's uh, got the Terrestrialized Poison type. And it's got the different ability. It has Water Absorb, so he's going to be in the Water type Gym Leader this time. Wait, am I even going the, wrong, the right way? No, I'm not. What am I doing? This way, this way, this way, this way. It's gonna take a while for me to get to the freaking Titan, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh, my freaking webcam's still off. <laughs> what am I? Professional here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> What the fuck? Do I have to stand in a certain spot for him to notice me? This dude is huge! What do I have to do? Oh, I had to full-blown touch him. Oh yeah, that's definitely Quaking Earth. That is so loud in my ear. What? Oh, Professor- What do you need right now, Sada? What do you need? Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea? I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Well, it's obviously ground type! No, don't terrestrialize right now. Oh my god! Oh, that's right, level 60 quack of vol. Where'd you go?! Oh, don't tell me. Herba Mystica once again. Looks like you found yourself Titan. Wait, that's the Quake in Uh, is, is that even a Pokemon? Yes, it is, apparently. Might be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Sort of thing what you and me can do. 
Oh god. Oh, now you bring in a high level Pokemon. Arvin! It's such a cuck. You use the Scovillian I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. Yeah, right. I'm starting to get more used to Quackaball now. So, at least I, I don't hate him anymore. He's really... Are you serious? Critical hit and it does that much? Something tantrum. Wow. Why'd you have to go and use scary face, dude? That I was waiting for you to put in the final blow. Arvin, do you have any attacking moves? Defeat the Titan, Great Tusk. Nice job, Quackaval. Wow. I saw a Larvesta on my way to the Titan. I'm gonna catch a motherfucking Larvesta, because for me, you can never go wrong with Volcarona. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. In your book, dude. Yes, you saw it before in your freaking book. He's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. I actually... Okay, I like the color on this one. I like it. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew, Gastelmo. I like the color uh, differentiation on this Starmobile compared to the others so far. Mela was okay. Atticus, it was it was really flashy. That's a good. I like that too. And Airy, eh? The orange doesn't really suit it that well. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Shadow, was it? I'm Giasiomo, at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to our outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Let's go. See, so when I fought, when I fought the guards at the gate, their Pokemon were like level 19, level 20. So my theory beforehand was correct. So this side of the, so this side, uh, the east side right now that I'm on, it's gonna be a little bit easier to take on uh, compared to the west side of the Paldea map. Why did I s oh, did he catch it with a timer ball? It's time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. Intimidate? This one's dark type, yeah. And it's gone. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Guess that's that.
about a year and a half ago. Yeah, guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council. We know how everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must strain no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Gassiomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Gassiomo I'm looking at now? I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it, I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? All right. Shadow, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surgeon chef? Yes. So, first Quackavell is going out. Some, uh, for some reason, I can't remember why. I just have him as the lead. So I'll use Low Sweep and knock out the first Pokemon. Then I'll send out Dragonite and he can use Thunder Punch. For the rest of the... Should I Terrestrialize get the extra boost? Nah, I, I probably won't. Well, it depends on the level of hit my opponent. Yeah, just... Yeah, it just depends on the level of uh, Kofu's Pokemon. Oh my Kofu, play with us, come on! I'd be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry everybody, I've got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porta Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. Wouldn't expect it any other way, Kofu. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics. Ever changing as the Raging Sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Gym Leader Kofu. 
Valusa. Ah, oh, that's why. That's why he kept saying uh, Valton Valusa. <laughs> I feel a bit indebted to you. Vault Breaker. What level are you? Twenty nine. Okay. Not very effective. Not very. Effective. Okay, I know it's water type, but what the heck is the other? Psychic. Okay. Nope, I'm just gonna switch to Dragonite right away. Pluck. Oh! Yeah, I probably won't need to terrestrialize. Oh, there's the new version. Wug Trio. So, uh, yeah, just plain water. Gooey. Oh, speed fell. Okay. Crabana. Oh, wait. Water type terrestrialized. Crabomitable is ice and fighting type originally. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging sea now. Yeah, yeah Crabomitable is fighting ice originally. But it's going to end up being a water type once he terrestrializes. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon's going to rock the boat. Thunder Punch. <laughs> Not even a full minute in transformation. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Nice. <gasps> Walton Valusa, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Alas, says, refreshing as the air at the morning market. I was just like a helpless little magic card to you, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. You got me good, I'll tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. And let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Uh oh. Uh oh.